This is Moon Pie Tarot doing your next 10 days love reading. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Now, just so you know, some of the messages, oh, hold on, some of the messages may or may not resonate. So just take what fits and leave the rest, okay? Don't try to make the reading fit. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, again, next 10 days. So from the time you click on the video, and watch it going forward, okay? Um, this is gonna be a love reading. The first row we're doing here is your person, and the bottom row underneath this will be your energy and kind of intermingled. If you wanna get a personal reading from me, um, there's a link in the description box below. I have several services that you can choose from, one of them being that you can subscribe and purchase a six-week tarot reading. It doesn't last for six weeks. It's just a tarot reading that you get one a week for six weeks. If you have something, you know, that you have on your mind or that's pressing or you want to work through, um, I can also do, I will also do a birth chart analysis there and send that to you. And then we can work on, you know, your planet placements and what is the best, best path for you. Gosh, I can't talk the best path for you to take going forward, okay? Anyway, um, I'm also on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. Go over and check that out, and please do smash that subscribe button. We're almost at 100,000K, and I'm so excited and so grateful, and just thank you for all the support. Um, all right, so let's get um, an oracle card and see a couple of oracle cards here, see what the messages are. All right, they're throwing out two. Wow, the waiting game, Aries, and suffering in silence. Oh my goodness, if these don't match, I don't know what does. Okay, something's going on here. Um, waiting for an answer. Oh gosh, there's a big thing happening here. You might be waiting for an answer or you're needing, like it's the, gosh, the sands of time. You're in a situation right now, Aries, where this waiting is killing you. This is driving you crazy. I can feel this. We have the nine and the two, which come when we add them, it's 11. This is a twin flame connection. And you are already aware of that here because you have the lovers, okay? Let's get one more and see what else Spirit wants to tell you here about this situation, what's going on. There's something here where you both have a new start or a new be uh, initiation, a, a new beginning. There's some type of, it's either a passionate new start or it's something to do with um, a relationship, a proposal, a marriage, a possible pregnancy. Um, a new project, an inspiration, or having a new urge to create. There's new ideas. There's some possible conflict and some issues and things that need to be overcome. For others, it could be a new job or an investment. But I, no matter what, there's a massive major transformation taking place, and this is taking forever, or it feels like it's taking such a long time, or it's something that will be occurring that you're going to have to have an extreme amount of patience. There's some type of transformation happening here in your life. Okay. Your person is a very intuitive person, okay? In a lot of ways, they may have a cat. <laughs> Just have to throw that out there. But there's something here with them. They have reunion on their mind. They're in the mood to celebrate, okay? I feel like your person um, is wondering if you're both compatible, okay, at this time. They're looking at you. Maybe you're coming with some truth. You're making some kind of an offer. You're really taking the bull by the horns, Aries. Um, in your life right now, okay? I do feel like um, there is something going on here with this person where 
they want to have some type of um, celebratory thing with you. And I feel like it has to do with um, how you feel about them. I don't know if you're going to make a decision finally. You're making some kind of decision, a choice decision about love. You're making a decision here that two are better than one in your life. Like you're actually doing it at this time. And I feel like your person is very happy about this. Maybe they've been waiting for you or suffering and waiting for you to make some kind of decision. Waiting for things to change and transform. And I feel like your person, um, some of you, you know, Aries, some of you are just like, you're going for the gold, it feels like. you're. If you're male, you might very well be proposing to this person or making some kind of an offer to them, communicating that you want to be with them, like telling them, but like coming to them and offering your cup, you know, proposing. This is can be the prince or princess of charm, prince princess charming, one or the other. Really, just it doesn't matter. It's whatever the energy is playing here. There's definitely romance happening here on your side, and you're feeling very romantic. And your person, they're 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 feeling pretty confident about something that you say to them or this offer that you make. So it could very well, I mean, you may not be getting down on one knee, but you could just very well be, you know, in this place where you're ready to do something at this time because you have the lovers and the Knight of Cups. Or you may be asking them if they want to, you know, come into union with you or if they're ready to. And I feel like, you know, they're kind of, hmm, I feel they're questioning. Usually when I look at the Queen of Wands, I don't see that. Usually the Queen of Wands, um, she comes across to me as being like, uh, like kind of feisty and confident and self-assured, but I just feel like she has some doubts. Like she's thinking it over. Okay. Male or female. Like I said, it's, we're just doing, we're just looking at um, the energies really. This person's also looking back on a past relationship. They were in a relationship in the past that may have been very unhealthy. And they have a little bit of fear that this is going to happen again. Okay, they may have been with someone who was very harsh. You know, very strategic, could be a little manipulative, but very, very harsh with their words at times so I kind of feel like um, they're also questioning if you're like serious now if you really want to do this I mean they're, if this is you they're looking at you you know male or female but you're coming in very masculine with some serious truth you are really um, being quite bold in your words and the things you're saying and quite serious and I feel like um, they're also looking at that and looking at you because it seems to me for a lot of you you're trying you want to reconcile you're being open you want to express yourself to this person and you know what it really is going to make them very happy it's just like a wish coming true for them I know some of you are just listening to this and you're saying, I have been, and they just keep ignoring me. Well, either one, this is not your reading, or number two, there's stuff changing here with this person. I don't, you may have blocked them or something might have happened in the past or you weren't communicating with them anymore, but they've actually been struggling with that. They've been waiting. So, you know, if you did some kind of tactic or maneuver and said, well, I'll show them, <laughs> I don't know, but it's transforming them. It has transformed them. It's changed them in, in many, many ways. You know, even if there just was a lack of communication. So...
this is a sense of like good health. This is indulgence. I feel like this person is going to indulge you 100%. You know, you have so much great stuff, but then you, you kind of come here with this four of pentacles. Like you're not willing to let them go. And they're in this place where they're just like, they're loving it. <laughs> they're loving it. I feel like your person was either dealing with someone who could be just very fierce or bold or just extremely th um, strategic in their words. It maybe had a little bit of um, harshness to them in their past. And they have a fear of that something is going to occur like that in this relationship going forward, whether it's a reconciliation or something new. All right, so this person does sit in a position of a little bit of like, does Aries tick all the boxes? Yes, Aries does. But is Aries actually ticking all the boxes now? You know, or is this person whom I'm just meeting someone who's going to tick all the boxes? I feel like you and your person are going to be getting together in some type of celebratory way. And there's a falling in love energy here there's excitement and enthusiasm in your communication and growth something is beginning here with from your person's side i'm hearing are we ready to do this now i don't know who's saying that so it might be you it might be them i just heard are we really are we getting back up on the horse here now ready to do this aries your whole life is about to change with the wheel of fortune, like in your favor, what you're getting, what you want, whatever that might be. You've been waiting a really long time and you've been suffering a really long time and things are like, the suffering is over because transformation is death, okay? And before death happens, there's always that waiting and that suffering, unless it's instant. This is not an instant kind of situation. And I don't mean literal death. I'm talking about sometimes waiting, like staying and being stuck in traffic for hours and hours in the heat and you're almost out of gas and it's like stressful and you're waiting. And it's like, when is this traffic? Like you've been stuck in some kind of a jam, you and your person for so long. And now all of a sudden the light's green and the, and the cars are moving. And things are actually beginning to shift here. And I feel mostly it's because you're, I just feel like you're being bold and brave. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could also be dealing with them um, or connecting with um, Leo, Sagittarius or another Aries. One of you is definitely a leader. In this relationship or is taking the lead let's get a see you have you have three major arcana i want to look more at you a little bit here okay look at you oh my gosh you're communicating the sweetest messages you're being so sweet and so lovely you're expressing yourself and saying how you feel a very sweet, sweet things, nothing harsh. This feels like new love. You're volunteering yourself. You're volunteering your emotions and how you feel about this person. Page of Cups, the lovers, the Knight of Cups. I mean, for some of you, reverse it. If you need to, if you want to reverse it, if, it, if that's not resonating for you and this is your person, um, doing this to you that's great maybe you're the one who's questioning is this for real are we really gonna do this you've been waiting for a really long time you can reverse it okay let's look at um judgment here and whenever i see this card i always just feel like something to do with the uk here with this flag but the trumpets are sounding this is a wake-up call this is a decision being made and this is clarity Maybe it's about a child. But this is being open and honest 
and this is revealing deep revealing everything truth so it's like a final decision this feels like a life purpose thing that's happening here for you oh, yeah you've been stressing so much he can't take it anymore and that's why you're you're coming out you're just coming out for some of you you're <laughs> For some of you, you're coming out of the closet. You're accepting your sexuality, okay? Your sexual orientation, for a lot of you. And your person's probably already there, and they're waiting, and they've been waiting, and, the, and they've been waiting. And you've been suffering, and they've been suffering to finally move forward in this relationship, okay? But there's cause to celebrate. I see a very happy, joyous time. Let's look. Ooh. Let's look at... I just saw the Hermit, so that is Virgo energy. Let's take a look at the um, Wheel of Fortune here. There's also uh, Aquarian energy and Taurus and Scorpio. Okay. Well, this showed up in the reverse, the Eight of Swords in the reverse, okay? This is basically like no longer being a prisoner, no longer self-sabotaging, okay? So whatever you have going on in your life, or it's reversed and it's the other person, um, that self-sabotaging thing is over. This is being bold. Okay, because this is usually about, you know, self-imprisonment, restrictions, isolation, no more. Change. You're coming out of something here. And your person, your person is trying to reconcile here with you, but they're, they're just kind of like, they want to be sure before you both come together. I mean, even before they reconcile with you, they're trying to be sure to see how you guys are gonna make this, something work here. It is a wish for them. This is what they want with you. And they're very enthused and they're very excited about the possibilities. Okay, they have a lot of ideas about how something can move forward between the two of you. Let's get a couple of Moonology cards to see what the messages are here for you. Oh, I just heard this. I just saw this card before I pulled it. Hold your vision. Don't give up. Fixed moon energy. Bring love into the situation. Wow, beautiful. New moon in Aquarius. And one more, please. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Okay, these could also be your person, right? So however it resonates. But I do want to take a look and see how your person feels about you on a more deeper level. Or if they could say something to you, what they would say to you, Aries. Because it really just feels to me like um, this waiting is coming to an end. And I feel like you're going to be the one really instigating this. Um I do feel like your person is going to kind of reconcile with you in some way or um, talk to you about getting together. Um, and I feel like when that happens, you know, you might, for some of you, you might meet this per or bump into this person at a party or at a thing. <laughs> I don't know like what a thing is. Um, usually this can be like, I don't know, happy hour or just being out somewhere with friends and celebrating a little bit. So I kind of feel like that it, there's going to be some kind of like seeing each other. And um, it's like a circle of support. Your friend or your person um, has a lot of support behind them in regards to this situation like there's other people that agree with your relationship moving forward or going the way it needs to be oh intuition you already know the answer you seek that wanted to just fly out well this person wants you aries yes they do mm -mm. oh yes they do i hope that you can forgive me one day okay they have some apologies to make 
some things they want to say to you. And that's one of them. Oh, they regret lying to you. Okay, about something. Could it just be something as simple as they withheld their feelings or their emotions for you? I wish I had treated you better. Yep, that too. There's so much healing happening here. I don't know what's going on. They hid something. They regret lying to you. They regret hiding something from you. You are the best thing in my life. Gosh, Aries. I am becoming a better person. And you know what, Aries, it's because of you. You change so much of them. You've had such an effect. Okay, we have children. Children are important to this relationship. Partnership. There's growth of some sort, whether it's an actually um, having a child or children or connecting children to this relationship or just growing from childlike ways into a more mature type of a relationship. All right, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Hmm. Some of you or your person needs to get off the computer and spend some time together. More time together, less time on the computer. Passion, try something you've never done before. Wow. <laughs> Well, that's you, Aries. You're definitely passionate. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Well, this person never stops thinking of you. Ha! I can't stop thinking about you. Ah! Aries. If only they could just come right out. Maybe they will share these things with you going forward. But, wow. This is crazy. You are, I'm just hearing somebody saying, you are such an inspiration to me. All right, let's get a couple of cards. Let's get a card from Loving Words from Jesus for those of you who enjoy the scripture part of my readings. Okay, all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. All you have to do is believe. Matthew 21, 22. Oh, okay. This year, I just heard, and 22. So 2021 and 2022 are going to be two very significant years for you. Um, okay. Let's get a couple of fortune cookie messages for you. Okay, commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. This will make you feel better. So I feel like you are definitely, or your person, you both committing to each other is going to be a very good, it's a good sign. I see it happening here these next 10 days. Personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances could improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's a strong message for someone here. Positive work outcomes, consistent efforts will bring rewards, and a major purchase is worth making. So if you're thinking of buying a new home or a new vehicle or some property or some investments, um, you know, whatever you do consistently will bring rewards for you. Oh, sexuality. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. Wow, Aries. Fantastic. All right, let's get a couple of charms from my Moon Pie Tarot mugs. They're here on my Teespring store right here below the video. And for you, Aries, I do have black mugs that are, have the Aries uh, symbol on them here, the Zodiac Aries symbol. And these are only $11.11. .11. So if you'd like to have coffee or tea with me, go for it. Oh, we always get seahorses, okay? Seahorse, somebody's gonna be decorating a room with seahorses or really loves seahorses. Seahorses mate for life. So I feel like that's a very important message here. <laughs> this is a situation that's 
going to go on for a very long time and this connection ah oh, oh we have a doggy bone wow <laughs> okay I, i'm just hearing somebody has um very interesting message somebody has like a little bit of a i don't know if somebody's like in a cast or something to do with the bone there's like um there was an injury and someone's recovering or there's like a, um or you may something might happen nothing major where there's like um an injury to a bone or something or somebody breaks a leg and i'm also hearing break a leg <laughs> they also said to say break a leg good luck aries with this you're gonna need it um and then we have like a bee here so i feel like the birds and the bees i don't know why and then we have the tree all right somebody has like a i can never hold these charms i need to get like a pin someone has a necklace or something that has this tree on it or um oh i just heard planting a tree um two people planting a tree together as a symbol of growth in this relationship this feels like an exercise to do or somebody had a tree planted and every time somebody passes it they always remember this tree and then i just heard the jo uh, joshua tree I'm not sure what that is but i just heard that okay I got one that dropped and I'm going to get one more or two more, however many, oh, I like five more. Okay, what is this? Oh, hold on a minute, you guys. Just remember, I'm an older lady, so I really can't see that well. This is like a little girl doll. It's like a little girl. It's a little girl. Does somebody have a little girl or... A child will also bring great joy. Somebody could be having a little girl. Or something to do with a little girl is very important. Or the little girl inside needs a lot of nurturing here. I feel like she will be very nurtured. And if you've lost your doll, I if some not you, well maybe you did, I don't know, or somebody collects dolls, but if somebody's lost a doll or a child has lost a little doll, it's it's by the tree in a flower bed. It's by a tree by a flower bed. That's what I just heard. Or near there somewhere. It doesn't have to be outside. It could be like, it could be under a window or something. Okay, we also have the yin and the yang. All right, and somebody's got that somewhere. Or there's somebody here from Asia. Or they, or they look... Asian, but they could be from anywhere, or they're Asian, not look Asian, they are Asian. Um, specifically, well, specifically, no, no, I'm not going to go that way because they said no. But I also hear somebody's got like a koi fish tattoo, or they have koi fish, or they go and they see koi fish somewhere. Look, two hearts. You guys also are coming into, um, there's going to be a lot of money. Now, this is American money. Okay, so that could resonate for somebody here. I know most of you are from America, um, but like a hundred hundred dollar dollar bills, y'all. That's what I'm just hearing that song. Wasn't that a song? Dollar dollar bills. A lot of money coming in. Good fortune. And then we've got two hearts, and these hearts are entwined. Does that look familiar to you? Do you have that somewhere? Picture of that somewhere? Or stickers or a nail design or somewhere on your body but this is symbolic you know of you two hearts are connecting now coming together either for the first time or f like <laughs> since a while ago i just have to get one more oh anchored an anchor ship somebody likes to shell shell why did i say that shell maybe you have like a shell jewelry but somebody likes to sail is what i meant to say or somebody's name is sal or sally i just heard 
but there's definitely um, this connection, this relationship is being anchored in some way going forward. Somebody's definitely got this hanging. Like, I don't know if it's your moms and your pops hanging on their walls somewhere, some anchors or something. <laughs> or I just heard she sells seashells by the seashore. Shelly? She sells seashells by the seashore. So then we have uh, we have the rabbit. <laughs> Bees and rabbits are worker bees. And this is like, there's a lot of physical passion between the two of you where you're both like rabbits here. And I also heard somebody really likes rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, they said. They said, say, say rabbits from Winnie the Pooh are very important. This dragonfly symbolizes life. Of course, I can never hold them. And who can hold a dragonfly? They are meant to fly. And then you are the apple of my eye. Somebody here is from New York. They're in Manhattan, okay? Or has an attachment to New York or Manhattan, okay? But somebody, I feel, this doesn't have to be your person. It could have been like a family member, someone that passed on. You are the apple of my eye. And they want you to know that. Aries, I love your reading. It was very, very beautiful. It made me feel really good. And I hope it made you feel good in some ways. And remember, these messages could be reversed. It really just depends. Um, because, you know, I am picking up energy here, but it's not always specific to who. So it could be you up, up top and them at the bottom. So take it as it resonates for you. And again, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link below in the description box. And please do smash that like button. And please do smash, double smash the subscribe button. No, triple smash, because if you double smash, then you'll unsubscribe. And I would be so grateful. And I will see you guys very soon. I love you very much, Aries. Take care.